Hi, I'm Dan Turner with GPM Controls, here to explain a little bit about how accumulators work and how you can check the pre-charge pressure in an accumulator if you don't have the uh, check kit, just by being able to dump the hydraulic pressure from the accumulator. So first we'll get started here. We have two gauges on this unit and it's a small little diaphragm accumulator. Uh, what, we're, what we have is a gauge on our hydraulic side, which is on the bottom part of this, and then we have a gauge on our gas side. You can see right now that our gas side gauge is reading 500 PSI, so that's the pre-charge pressure that is in this accumulator. At this point, the diaphragm is completely filling up the void inside the shell, and there is really virtually zero hydraulic oil in here. What I'm going to do is fire up our test bench, and we will bring pressure to the accumulator, but right now we don't have anything in there until I open this needle valve. And as soon as I do, the smallest amount of oil that goes in immediately takes the pressure of the oil to 500 PSI because that is equal to the pre-charge. So there's very little oil in there, and as I begin to open up the needle valve, you can see that the pressure increases and it's increasing equally on both gauges. So you're always going to have equal pressure inside a static system and whether it's the fluid side or the gas side the pressures will be equal uh, in an accumulator especially a bladder or a diaphragm accumulator. We're going to take our pre-charge, well not our pre-charge, sorry our pre-charge will always remain 500 we're going to take our fluid pressure up, we're slightly over 1,000. And to prove the point that we've got equal pressure uh, inside this vessel, you can see we're very close to 1,100 here, and we're very close to 1,100 on the gas side as well. So now we're going to turn off our test bench. We've got our needle valve closed. We've let the pressure off of the hose here. So we're going to demonstrate that the oil pressure is going to drop slowly until it gets to the pre-charge pressure. I open the needle valve, you can see both gauges, both needles are dropping, but at a certain point, once our pre-charge is reached, click. We see a quick drop in the needle, and down to zero, our pre-charge remains at 500. We know from that experiment that our pre-charge is right around 500 PSI.